You could have new representation in 2020. A new state court ruling says every house and Senate district in Mecklenburg County will change, and there's a short deadline to make that happen. This is a major decision, and Channel 9 has followed every development. Our government reporter Joe Bruno is breaking down what this could mean when you vote. 2020 state House and Senate races are in flux. A three judge panel struck down dozens of districts today. Now lawmakers are two weeks away from having to address this. A monumental case. Every single state House and Senate district in Mecklenburg County will have to be redrawn after a state court tossed them out due to partisan gerrymandering. The three judge panel writing in part, voters are not freely choosing their representatives, rather representatives are choosing their voters. They recognize that the power of redistricting has gotten excessive and has created situations that do not reflect a democratic republic. The ruling was widely expected to be appealed. State Senator Phil Berger announced though that that will not happen saying while he disagrees with the ruling, we intend to respect the court's decision and finally put this divisive battle behind us. Political expert Michael Bitzer says the lack of appeal means Republicans will be able to control the process. The big question now is how will the legislature respond and if they don't respond to the court's liking, will the court intervene? and draw the districts. The legislature will now have two weeks to draw new districts. That's a tight time frame. Filing for the 2020 election is in December. The primary is in March. And as of now, no one knows what district they will be in. The ruling does not just impact Mecklenburg County. In total, 57 House and 21 Senate districts will have to be redrawn. Other counties impacted include Gaston, Union, Anson, Stanley, Cleveland, Cabarrus, and Rowan. 